Hey everyone, so we're past the Fed here and we've seen a whole bunch of sort of choppy price action. I think we will probably fight another couple of days or so to find the real next direction against seasonality here heading into October is not very favorable in any sort of meaningful way. So I still think we have um, more consolidation to go. I want to have a look at Bitcoin because I think it's kind of telling us a very similar story. And even if you're not into that asset class, just, you know, from a correlation perspective, it's important to understand that there's a high correlation between risk assets and Bitcoin. It's telling us a very similar story. So let's have a real quick look at this here so that we can gain a little bit of uh, perspective. If we look at our uh, trend following uh, algorithm, so this is the uh, market rover, you can see that we uh, were in a bullish phase there for a while, uh, and uh, and but really it's just choppy right now. There's really no real direction, and we can see that also if we look at the absolute chart, uh, takes a, a bit more uh, sort of drawing of our own lines here as opposed to the algorithm doing it, but we can see a similar uh, or actually the same thing and that is essentially that we're just consolidating. And so my point here really is that, you know, a lot of people are calling for major moves higher or, or you know, immediately and this and that. What I can tell you is that we're just consolidating. And then this consolidation phase is not new. We've been in it since March of this year. And by the way, you know, if you were to overlay this and look at, for example, semiconductor stocks, which are highly correlated to this, like semiconductor stocks, as I think I mentioned here the other day as well, are exactly where they were in March. So let me just show you this with an arrow. And again, I'm, I'm giving this for perspective and I hope this is helpful for at least some of you guys. <laughs> this consolidation phase here is going to cause a lot, of, uh, a lot of unnecessary losses in trading accounts. Just understand that we're consolidating. At some point, we will break in one direction or another. I do think ultimately Bitcoin can break higher. But know that it's correlated to not only other risk assets, but also to liquidity in the markets. And right now with the Fed passed, we're, we're going to need some time to digest all this. Uh, as I'm recording this here early on Thursday morning, 19th of uh, September, we're seeing a new risk on move here. But really just kind of more or less where we were just before the Fed. Um, and again, even if we were to see a near-term rally, I just don't think we're there yet to really have a meaningful breakout uh, in, in these risk assets before the election. It seems extremely unlikely. And if we do see a breakout, it might be a breakout fake out, which would be even worse because it's going to cause even more people to uh, to kind of, uh, uh, you know, have hope when, when there really isn't one. On a very near-term perspective, just so you guys know, we're using our uh, near-term uh, momentum indicator. You can see the TSD trender is what we're using here. We had some, again, it's choppy, right? So we have near-term momentum turned bearish a few days ago. Uh, or a couple of weeks ago, then Bitcoin dropped 11%. That's nice. Then we got a new buy signal uh, a few days ago. Now Bitcoin's up, you know, 6 or 7%, 6 or 7%. But again, that doesn't really change anything in a major way uh, when we look at uh, this this asset in a, in a in, from a long-term perspective because the long-term moves still, I, I still think it's possible that we get a move towards 100,000, maybe 120,000 over the next you know, at this point, whether that's year to date, whether that's going to happen this year or over the next six months, it's for me impossible to tell. But I think that's possible through sort of a six month lens that we get towards 100 or 120,000. But we do need a liquidity injection. Maybe after the, 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 the election, we shall see. Hope this is helpful for perspective. We'll see you again in the next video.